Ugandans call them reporters, a youth program of hip hop artists turned journalists, wrapping the headlines. Sinking an end to third world debt and poverty, or Akon, hoping to light up Africa with electricity, put to good use nothing beats the power of celebrity. Hearing the news in hip hop may sound strange, but in Uganda, where the press faces censorship pressures and the country's huge youth population often take little interest in current affairs, this program has become a hit. We are rappers already, and being that even through our music we spread the message and the kind of news we wanted to do was the educative, entertaining, political kind of stuff. So being that we are rappers, we decided to make it a rap format kind of news. Newsbeat, screened in both English and the local language Luganda on the popular channel NTV, launched last year. Each five-minute episode covers local, regional, and international news. Nothing is off limits, and the program has reported stories on Uganda's anti-pornography laws, the political situation in Ukraine, and Ebola updates from West Africa. Most of it has also inspired the youth to watch the news, yeah, because of the beat and the rap. You know, so it doesn't make them, you know, bored and they're there and they also get the education out of it. Ugandan activists have repeatedly warned that press freedoms in this East African country are rapidly shrinking. Last October, one journalist was ordered to pay damages or face jail after accusing a government official of corruption. And there have been other similar cases. But as dust settles over Uganda's capital, a crowd gathers around a public TV to follow the beat. Mm. The main difference between Newsbeat and the other news is that Newsbeat talks about the underground issues that the other news stations won't touch. And the viewer enjoys it and always discovers new things. Newsbeat is so far sidestepping the censors and reaching out to new audiences with its unique blend of rhyme and reason. 